we discuss about probability. And I say probability is what? The number of required outcome to the number of total outcome. Now, I want to give more examples on probability so that you can understand better. Example one. Like I told you that the quality of knots, we use what one minus the given word probability. So value of adding person and term is our p the right hand. So which means our p is what three over what five. So not p it means value of uh, not p means value of what adding failing words, the exams that are key, you don't know. Now, when I say that P plus Q must always equal to what? 1. So what is our Q now? Our Q will now be 1 minus P. So, probability of uh, adding, probability of what? Adding, failing, we now go 1 minus, probability of what? Adding, Blue boss 
the Arabian men fall. And Yenugo, they are having five. So the total number of us will now be three plus four, seven, seven plus five. That is twelve. So we have twelve balls. Now, find the values of picking white ball if the ball is big from that bag. Now, how many white we have here? We have three white balls. So, probability of white we have the words. Number of white balls over total number of balls. So, probability of white. So, number of white balls will be our number of required at all. So it's not the words. How many words we have here? We have three. And total number of words is what? Twelve. So we can add to that is three out of one, three out of four. So the answer is not the one over four. So value of white word is not the one over four. That is what's the number one. Then number two. Yellow word. So value of yellow. We not the number of yellow. How many yellow do you have here? We have five. The total number of words, twelve. So we can have this one. So the answer will be five over twelve. Now the third one, probability of white or yellow ball. Probability of white or yellow. This is what we call addition. The one I explained the other time. So we should have the probability of white ball, then this all is what? Addition. So plus probability of yellow ball. So this is how many white balls we have there? We have three. So over total number of balls, which is 12, plus how many yellow balls we have there? We have five yellow balls over total number. So SM was sure. So 12 and 12, we have 1. 1 times 3, we have 3 plus. 12 and 12, we have 1. 1 times 5, 5. So this is a 8 all over 12. You can use 4 to divide. 4 and 8, 2, and 4 and 12, 3. So the answer will be 2 over 3. So now, not blue box. Not blue box. This is the value of not. The other time I said, we want to calculate the value of not blue, always subtract one from the value of uh, blue. So probability of not blue ball will now be what? One minus probability of blue ball. So we now have one minus what, what how many blue ball do you have there? We have Four blue balls. So one minus four all over one, the total number of balls, which is twelve. So we can now find the SCM. One and twelve, twelve, five times one, we have twelve. Twelve and twelve, one, one times four, four. So we now have eight all over two. So we can use four to divide, right? So four and eight, we have two, four and twelve, we have three. So the answer will be two over three. The value of not blue ball. Now, look at the last one. Black ball. The other time, I was explaining the value of certainty and uncertainty. I said, for this of us, certainty is a uh, 1. And for this of us, uncertainty is what? 0. Look at this black ball. As you can see, we don't have any black ball here. You understand? We don't have what? Any black ball. So the value of black ball will be what? Zero. The value of black ball will be what? Zero. Probability of black ball of black will not be what? Zero. Since we don't have black ball in the question. Right? Now, let me now give you the question pertaining to a guy. When you have a die, you are talking about 
a particular game called Ludo, they use dice to play the game. This is what we call a die. This is what we call, as you can see it. These are other die. So the tool is what is dice. When it is two, we call it what dice. Or when it is one, we call it a die. So when you have a person according to a die, let me give another example. Example three. Now, if you want to solve this particular question, directly, they did not tell us our total outcome. But we need to use our initiative. We must know that a die is numbered from 1 to 6. So our total outcome will not be what? Will not be 6. So, a die, we have 1 to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, we are asked to find out the value of even number, which is our, our required output. So, even number is our, our required output. So, even number, you write all the even numbers from 1 to 6. We have 2, 4, and 6. Though, 8 is also what? An even number. But so far, we are dealing with what? A die it must be between what? 1 and 6. So, even number between 1 and what? 6 is what? 2, 4, and 6. So, probability of even number, we now count. How many even number do you have there? 1, 2, 3. 3. So our total is going to be what? Maybe 6. 3 are 1, 3 are 2. So our answer is going to be 1 over 2. So that is the first one. So the second one, the second question now. Multiples of 3. When you are talking about multiples of 3, it's like when you are talking about table 3, multiplication table of 3. So we start from 3. So multiples of 3, we start from 3. Multiples of 4, we start from 4. Multiples of 9, we start from 9. So multiples of 3, we now start from 3. So 3 times 1, 3, 3 times 2, 6. The next one is what? 6. So now we are doing for what? 1 to 6. So now, probability of multiples of 3, we now we have many 1, 2, 2 over 6. 3 are 1, 2 are 3, which is 1 over 3. The third one. The third one, even number. So even number, even numbers will be what? Two, four, and six. All numbers will be what? One. 3 and 5. Now, for all this of, if you look at it very well, there is what? There is no intersection between the two. So we don't need, we don't need to be surprised intersection between the two. So for all this of, even or or, we now do what? For all this of, even. And in this all is always our initial loop. So plus probability of all the number. So how many will we have there? Just count one, two, three. Three over total number, which is six. Plus all, how many odd number do we have there? One, two, three. Three over all, over six. So our SM is six. Six is six, one. One times three, three. Six is six, one, one times three, three. So we have six over six. So C J R S is now one. So that is the highest answer that you can get in probability. Uh, one. So now the next question: Find the value of a uh, getting four. This is where children normally make a mistake. When you can see a person like this, value of getting four, you just write four over six, and four over six is not the correct 
answer. Why? Because when you're talking about a guy, you can only find what? One, four. Yeah. You can only find what? Just one, four. So, probability of four. It means how many four you have in a guy? Just one. So, it will be one. All over what? All over six. So, that's our answer. Is that, is that clear? So, now, probability of this one is number four. Probability of uh, three or six will be what? Probability of three. Four means what? Plus. Plus. Probability of six. And what is of three? Of three. How many three we have from one to six? Just one, one. So it should not be one over six. Plus. Likewise, six. We have just one six there. So it should not be one over six. So S will be six. Six and six is what? One. So one times one is one. Six and six is one. One times one is what? One. So now have two over six. Two here one, two here three. So the answer will be one over three. One over three. So that is about uh, that. The probability, the probability of two hunters eating the target is three over five and Four over seven. What is the probability three and five and four and seven respectively? Respectively. Is the probability of one only the first, the first, the each the target two only the what second. We miss the target. Then the last one, both will miss the what target. Now When you have a person like this, you have a technical of two hunters there. So let the first hunter be what? A. Let the what? First hunter be what? A. And let the what? Second hunter be what? B. So it means that only what? Two hunters A and B. So now, you can calculate a table for them under A and B. So this one now, A and B. So the first one, the first counter, this one will be this, and this one will be this. So now, for under A to list the digest, this is already, already what given what in the question. So take it over five. We have A over five. So for under A to list the digest, that a lot of numbers. So one minus three over five, which is a two over five. So for average of B eating that target, we have the what? Four over seven. 
as it is green was the request one. So 4 over 7. Probability of B, using the targets, we have 1 minus 4 over 7, which is 3 over 7. So now, we want to solve the first one. Find the probability that only the first counter will eat the target. If the first counter should eat the target, since we are talking about the two counters, so the several counter will miss the target. So probability of first counter is we have the probability of first is times because they are both both you can use both as our multiplication rule. So times probability of so we the first one to is the second one we miss. So second one that miss. So this is probability of first is look at the table. The first one is what? Well, three over five. So three over five. Times second we miss. Look at the second one. This is B. And missing is what? Three over seven. So this is now the nine over what? 35. 9 over what? Over 35. Now, this is the first one. The second one. Only the second hunter will miss the target. Probably that only the second hunter will miss the target. It means if the second hunter should miss the target, the first hunter will eat the target. So, probably that if the second hunter the second counter is the target. So first counter, since the second one we is the target, so the first one was the means the was target. So by the way, the second one is the target means first one we need the target times Probability of uh, second is the target. Second is. So now, so probability of first counter miss the target from the table. This is the first one. So missing the target will have two over what? Two over five. So times the value of second is. This is second one. So the second is the target to have what? Four over seven. So this is now 2 times 4, we have 8 over 5 times 7, we have 35. So that will be the answer. Now the last one, probability of both will miss the target. It means the first one time will miss the target, and likewise the second one time will miss the target. So we now have probability of both missing the most target. We now have first of what? Parameters of first. First means times parameters of what? Second means. So why is this for both? Missing the target. If it's for both eating the targets, it's not the parameters of first eating the targets, times parameters of second eating the targets. But for this question, part of both missing target will not be what? Value of first missing target times value of second missing the target. So now, from the table now, value of first missing target will not be, this is false, missing target will not be 2 all over what? 2 all over 5. Then times value of second missing the target. This is second one, so missing the target will not be 3 all over 7 so times 3 all over 7. So we now have 2 times 3, 6, over 5 times 7, 35. So that will be our final answer. Thank you.